Here we go with Dynamite. Even though everything that's regarding with Dynamite, with the fake congested numbers, which just Tony Khan, how he portrays and acts, and just uh, just everything, just down to the wrestlers, you know, as the usual complete toxicity, to the fan base, you know, running off people, death threats, like, like, what? I said, I said, I kind of said this from the beginning. I want great pastures. I want good things for AEW. I like an alter, seeing an alternative, but you know, can't deny that the overall, you know, Lance culture within AEW that they, pro, you know, especially to somebody like Tony Khan, to where they propagate going forward. They like, they like this community, and this is what they support, and this is what he pushes. So, I mean. We back with Dynabite, so let's get into Dynabite and uh, let's think in much more positive ways. I am just loving these MJF and Adam Cole segments. You never know what you get with a couple of polar opposites because they have been just absolutely gold with each other. I know it was Jared, Jeff Jared and Ray, uh, Ray Phoenix that kicked off the match, but you know, for the ones that, that, have, that have been here, you pretty much know that when it comes to matches, especially when there's no intrigue build up to it i really don't care but the mjf yeah mjf and adam cole man i've been every time they've been on screen wow who would have knew yeah they've just been too good just too effing good of a uh, you know together to be on team together <laughs> like this is just too good to be true with uh you know mjf being mjf fucking with adam cole <laughs> it's just that though just their comedicness together <laughs> It's so it's so enjoyable and good. And you had Big Show come out with there. It was oh, it was so funny. It was so a quarter. That's perfect, perfect. Uh, it was uh, I enjoyed every bit of it. Mastermind Don Callis and Co. You know, get it, get it in the head and try and just you know just playing more mind games with Chris Jericho, taking his protege from him. You know, Sammy Guevara has joined up with the Don Callis family. Yeah, so if I believe correctly. Yeah, like, because I want to go back to, yeah, Chris, Sammy Guevara and Chris Jericho when Sammy had turned on Jericho and they recreated the whole Jericho when he was, like, yeah, when he was just still up and coming pretty much. And he did the whole turn on, you know, back in the Ruthless Aggression era with Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 19. I felt, I felt, like, yeah, I felt like it was a nice touch, but... Like when it, when it comes to Sammy Guevara and everything concerning that, I, I feel like it was a good moment right there. But uh, especially a guy like Sammy and the way for how long that I've been watching him, I feel like he, yeah, he's like like ways upon not even still being ready. Like the dude, he can't act. You know, he can barely showcase his emotions correctly. I'm sorry, like especially when, when it comes to Sammy Guevara, I couldn't care less about this feud. It's just like it's in every way imaginable. It's you know you can see everything coming from a mile away. The shit is not interesting. I just yeah, that's, like and I really wanted to get interest in this Don Callis, this Don Callis, and you know Chris Jericho, whatever it is. Now I thought it was Kenny Omega at first storyline, but yeah, now it's whatever the fuck it is now. <laughs> and I just, you know I, yeah, I simply don't give a fuck. We get a match. That I wouldn't throw up at. It's just they, the the young fags and Tony Khan himself can jerk off to and feel better about themselves. Very sus indeed. <laughs> Looks to me about a, a gay hippie that's looking uh probably possibly a new debut that we're getting. MJF and Adam Cole come out and Cole confirms that he's injured. Basically, we get a whole big you know promo battle between MJF and Jay White. And that was just that. <laughs> MJF just basically com straight up completely annihilated his, his bitch ass. Jay, as far as to trying to match up and just trying to go to toe toe with MJF on it's clearly an idiotic move and just it was it was it was embarrassing. Picked a part, you know, <laughs> just bombasted. Uh, if, if that was a uh, because because I, I know I haven't been like seeing Jay White lately, but if that was as far as them, especially Tony, is that if if that was for a way for them to send Jay White out there, and as far as you know, go as far as, as to prove himself, 
that he could be a top guy. Well, as far as Pro Bowl skills, bad. Yeah, he completely failed on every fucking level. He, like he was preposterous. Like that shit, that whole performance right there was that whole clown show was fucking terrible. It was just everything from down to the nose. MJF just toyed with him. And yeah, <laughs> and what MJF said, it sounded like well, probably like you know a few, but yeah, it sounded like something that I would say. Like yeah, Jay White, you know, like thought he you know, reminds me of the indie fed or you know that that, that hat they have, you know, regardless of star power, but they don't look like a star. He doesn't have any any types <laughs> clearly, like he, he is he th this is the example of what a genre looks like. And he, yeah, that was a great of course just another reason to uh love MJF. But yeah, the yeah, that like you just talk about setting yourself you know, t talk about sending a guy out and setting him up for complete fucking failure. Yeah, that was just, ooh. MJF torched him. One more time, because this is just revolutionary, what he what he's doing. Christian is just amazing. I like his little story with Darby Allen. You know, I can't, you know, can't deny that I said, you know, I'm waiting for their match. I know they're going to kill it. Christian is his own legend in his own right. And what he's been doing too, what he's been doing for the TNT Championship in AEW, is just other worlds. It's just what you call, that's what you call a star. And, you know, hopefully people give him his roses right he's here because what he's doing is remarkable. Hey, call me sexist, but I would prefer them to at least do something meaningful. Let's think to ourselves for a moment. You really think millions of people are going to tune into this shit in the middle of the night to want to want to see what the fuck is going on here? No. Unless it's some cheeks. Contract signing between, which I guess for this, which is uh, for Russell Dream. And I would say it was all right. It's not like it was just like any other contract signing in history when it comes to wrestling. Before it goes off the air, we see Jay White getting completely mauled somewhere like in a dark alley, like it's a dark alley, but backstage. And we see an individual with the exact same white mask that we've seen similar since when it comes to... I and we see an individual with a white mask that we've seen similar before, before it cuts to black. I've been enjoying what, uh, when it comes to Swerve, yeah, that's in the, uh, yeah, Swerve, Swerve Strickland. You know, I've been, his whole character is stick with what he's been doing. Yeah, I've been liking that. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait. Uh, their match, yeah, his match between, uh, Bucky Boy, Adam Page. Yeah, I, I can say I'm kind of looking forward to that because uh, I've been paying attention to Swerve. And, yeah, I think he's been doing, yeah, he's been doing his own wonders. And, yeah, hopefully he keeps doing that and putting that out. He definitely, uh, I can see him being a part going into the future. He can be a big, he can, yeah, he can be a top name, like going like 10, even 15 years from now, or even five. But yeah, like, of course, with that whole ending with uh, the whole cutoff between, pretty sure we already saw that, which looked similar, which I'm guessing is MJF and the inner circle. But yeah, it looks uh, very, uh, it looks very interesting and suspicious what happened, uh, uh, well, yeah, like I said, the pro, the pro, but when it came to Jay White and LJF, but I mean, yeah, what happened back there is kind of it, it is kind it kind of it is interesting. I was and I'll say that that ended right there was kind of like uh, usually I would see WWE pull when they were good, like you know when they decide or when they were at you know when they were actually trying to make you care about something. But yeah, that was kind of interesting. But, uh, WWE move. On AEW's part, that was kind of interesting right there to see what they did right there. I know it's not kind of something new, too, that we see these things, especially, but I kind of liked it. And the show, I feel like Dynamite was great this week. So, yeah, I feel I, I enjoyed Dynamite. It was all right. It was good. I feel like from the usual. Could have, uh, yeah, I thought it was, yeah, I thought it was great. I thought Dynamite was uh, great tonight. It pulled well. And uh, if y'all think whatever y'all think about Dynamite 2, y'all can talk about it. But stay blessed. Enjoy the rest of y'all night. And I hope y'all enjoyed Dynamite. And say blessings.